There he is. And they're down. Then yeah, I believe... Yeah, there is multiple runes. Sorry, but I won't be here for our next meeting. Or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I've left the results of our labels here for you to keep, but I expect the brats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Okay. Give me that. Fantastic. How many am I up to? Nine? Good god, I might be able to... Actually, I think I need one more for uh, full bend time. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Who is sweeping? Oh, the there we go. He's asked to brief you personally. I'm just gonna fill up on uh, oh, sleep darts friend. before I talk to him. Do you need ammunition? Shut up. Would you like me to craft something for you? There we go. No, nope, screw it. I'm gonna buy that. Buy that. Just make my sword all fancy. Yeah, screw it. Yay! Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to kill them. I'll do something incredibly worse to them. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. And the mask goes on again. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. 
They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clav right now. I guess you're getting rid of Campbell's to help them out of Utah. Alright, so like I said, there's a big watchtower. That. So yeah, it does that. And a couple more bone charms. God, I hate when choke just doesn't work for whatever reason. Alright, we'll dump this guy down here. Hopefully no one will see him. What are they saying ha huh, about? What are they freaking out about? They're making me freak out. Oh, turn, Corvo, turn! Okay. I'm gonna try and avoid that watchtower as best I can. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a this guy okay? Anything in your pocket for a poor working man? Yeah, okay. It is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or housing. In this time of spiritual crisis, the Overseers have initiated Oops. the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new High Overseer is chosen. Oi. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now, I should be able to. Oh! And the tower has been dealt with. Just drank up. What's going on there? Hmm, I should be able to get behind this guy. If I don't land on top of him, that is. Yeah, she's a weeper. Nighty night, ma'am. Da, what the crap? Oh yeah, if you carry weepers, they have like bugs on them that attack you, I forgot. It's very annoying. Thankfully there is some food that I can consume to heal back up. At least a little bit. Yeah, those people are super dead. This is advanced dead. Whoops. Whoops. You know, he's attempted his life, watchtower's been authorized, chances have been high upon the incident, the engineer corps will have been fast with the additional fortifications in place. Okay. Come on, investigate, I dare you. Come investigate. Oh, you're a butt plug, you didn't. And he's down and out. Fantastic. Take that copper wire. Hmm. Slackjaw, Dodd. Thaddeus Campbell. That is an amazing picture. 
Are you a dead counter? Brave men needed for crisis management. Apply within. Yeah, see? Alright. Granny Rags' home is all boarded it up. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. I love how you'd think this is a trap, because it absolutely should be. He's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Because, like, we poisoned his place, and he might know that. You know, maybe he's wanting, maybe, maybe he's wanting to settle the score. But no, he he just wants to help you. I don't know why. I don't think they're gonna last much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. I don't think that's what that word means in here. Well, how would I know? It's some other word. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor fools that get that bad. So here's a problem. There's a bunch of weepers in here. As well as a bone charm. And I want that bone charm. Slackjaw be waiting for you. Let's go see Slackjaw then. And steal a bunch of their stuff in the, as we do. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Ooh. Drop, that's my motto. Looting in recent months. Exit from a letter found in an empty house at the edge of the Roadshore Financial District. Interesting. Don't mind me, gents. I'm just taking all your things. Oh, I went up there. I want to see if they decided to put anything in the... Oh, climb. There we go. Ah, they did. What the fuck are you looking at? Huh. Okay. Reserve key, some money. Ooh, incandescent paint. Oh, incendiary bolts. Never mind. I was like, ooh, what is this saucy thing that I found the uh, little recipe for? Deep bottle. Okay. Let's head on out. And let's go talk to the big man himself, Senor Slackjaw. <coughs> Mr. Slackjaw. Anything else of interest and or value that I can take? Why are they fine with me taking all this stuff? I don't get it. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the poop tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See? Slackjaw knows. Slackjaw speaks in the third person. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone... I don't know who is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. 